And Rich Trapper tapping in. TNN Trap News Network. You feel me? Rich Trapper. The homie wanted you to uh, whitelist this shit too. Ooh. Rich Trapper. Rich Trapper. He be reacting to your shit. What's the deal, y'all? Rich Trapper tapping in TNN Trap News Network. We back in action with another reaction video. Back in this thing. Back in this thing. Like could crack in this thing. Make sure you get into all that, man. Y'all see? Got the light, man. Got a little bit of chili getting put into this production. Yes, sir. Good lights, good lights, good lights going up. Shout out to all the people who got, you know, good lighting, man. You know, we're trying to do a little something different. We're trying to make sure we're giving y'all what y'all supposed to get. You feel me? You feel me? We got an intro. We got lights. We getting our ish together. We getting our ish together. TNA Trap News Network, man. News you can use. Knowledge you can't get in college, man. Make sure you get into all that. Find me on all streaming platforms. Rich Chopper Game 6. Rich Chopper worth more than money. Rich Chopper, I'm better off without you. My two singles start from scratch and a nightmare before Christmas. They out now as well as my newest project. I'm still better off without you. Make sure you get into all that. Find me on Instagram. Trap News Network. T-R-A-P-N-E-W-S-N-E-T-W-O-R-X. That's Trap News Network. Make sure you get into that. Uh, allergies kicking my A-double-double. We... Give away $100, man. That's $50 two different ways. Make sure you drop your comment because the best comment for the month of March will receive a $50 cash app as well as the top comment between now and 6,000 subscribers will receive a $50 cash app as well. We're giving away this Chiliana here at TNN, Trap News Network, some news you can use, some knowledge you can't get in college. We finna jump into more of this content. We finna wrap up the rest of this big deal. Admin 22 interview. We gave y'all a break in that to see Break Baby crash all the way out. All the way out. If you ain't seen that, go back and look. You'll see Break Baby has totally gone crazy on no jumper, making some crazy savings. Uh, watch the last video. But we finna jump into this content. Big deal. Adam22 talking about T Rail and uh, Big Minority World. I guess blacklisting them. I'm not really sure. But we finna jump into this content without no further ado's or don'ts. Three, two, one, let's go. All right. Yeah, big deal popping. Yeah, what, what, I've been jumping though before all this shit. But what, what's your friendship like with MacWap, McKeem, and Tiny, and all these types of dudes? They cool. They the homies and shit. Tiny, that's the homie. You feel me? He really from the set. You feel me? Born mm -hmm. and raised in the fifties and shit. MacWap and Keem, I met them through Schoolboy Q. Okay, you feel me? But they the homies. Them niggas kind of biased and shit with the situation with T Real. How they play their parts, try to play both sides and shit, so they can still. You know, be in or something. That's how I look at it. It could be different, but that's how it's painted to me. You feel right. me? But they still cool or whatever, you I, know. Like, I mean, they were all kind of like meat riding T Rail for a while. It's no offense to them, but like they were all like kind of on his to get their shit to blow up. And now it kind of feels like they don't really need him anymore. So they, you could see the expiration date yeah, coming they, up. I think they, they kind of was both using each other. Yeah. He was using them. But the Apollo was shit was like really small. And then Back on Fig was like really big. And now it feels like they kind of like met in the middle. And now it's like, the whole thing of like T-Rail acting like a god and acting like everybody should be sucking his dick, that doesn't seem like it's working the same way that it was at first because the numbers are kind of like everybody's gravitating towards each other and shit. Yeah, they, they over there sharing fans and shit, man. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, a lot of the fans are fucking, being shared. Are yeah. saying like that the Apollo shit is better, that it's more like they've been doing. I don't understand how anybody watches a fucking six hour podcast. That's kind of foreign to me, but I guess. Yeah, I, I haven't seen a six hour one. They, they, I think people, they probably go probably four. No, but with Flacco and shit, the Apollo, they be doing oh, like six okay. hours. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which, to me personally, I just don't understand, but... Flacco be having them gassed up. Flacco's an agent, bro. <laughs> I never even told Flacco to go in there and cause chaos, but he basically just did it for the love of the game. Yeah. Hey, I, I kind of like low-key turned all this shit up, man, because, you know, people got content right now. You know what I'm saying? Everybody going back, you know what I'm saying, on clips and yeah. talking about a lot of shit right now. You feel me? And then I kind of felt like I, like, opened the door up for, uh, you know, for the for the back and forth. But back on Fig, like, like, like act like they scared to speak on anything with somebody on this side speaking on what's going on. You feel mm -hmm. me? So they've been kind of in the shadows. They want to be with all kinds of people, but they don't want to actually address the issues with you and shit. Yeah, I don't know why. Yeah. And like even, how they deleted the video. They took down episode 150. When you told me that, I couldn't believe it. I had to go check. I was looking for the clip. I couldn't find the clip. I, I wanted to watch you guys argue. I had to watch Milk reacting to it because the original version was taken down. Yeah, and you don't remember that one time when you when you first went on back on Fit, I had called in. Oh, okay. Y'all was addressing the situation with Milk. Right. You know what I'm saying? I called in. I told the niggas they was out of line. You know what I'm saying? For even getting with the nigga Milk because the nigga was trying to sabotage my brother 
you know what I'm saying, whole get out, you know what I'm saying? Right. The shit that I'm basically doing right now, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Putting the stamp on the truth, you feel me? Right. But, uh, yeah, I had tapped in that day. I'm like, man, y'all niggas out of line, man. You feel me? Y'all gonna go f with the nigga after he just tried to sabotage you, you feel me? Like, mm. that was some weirdo shit. And I was ready to, you know what I'm saying, mash on the nigga milk for my brother, you know what I'm saying? Because I'm like, ain't no nigga finna be getting at my brother. So, Big Deal was ready to smash on six. Say, hey, chill out, dog. Big Dill was ready to mash on Milagano to get Logano because Milagano was being a Gilagano. You feel me? Yeah, all right, milk. The sideways like that, you feel me? Like, right. Then next thing I know, they all buddy buddy. Right. So I'm like, damn, nigga got me turned up in a mash, and and then now y'all best friends. But now Milk's the biggest hater of them. Yeah, Milk be doing what he doing, what, man. What do you like, think of Milk? You respect how he's moving? Uh, I mean. He doing, he doing what he doing. His content, that's what he supposed to do. You feel me? To get his bread. You feel me? Like, I don't know Milk personally, though. You feel me? Like, from being on Hoover Street, you feel me? But I didn't met some people. I mean, not met some people. I know some people that know him. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And they like, oh, he official. He really from Hoover and all that. I'm like, okay, cool. Like, but I don't know the nigga. You know what I'm saying? I've been on Hoover Street since 13. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Up and down Hoover, 50 to the 100s. Not just in the 50s. You feel me? So Everybody's been swearing that they were going to do something to Milk for years and years now. And nobody did anything, so. I mean, shit, you got to catch him where he at. You ain't going to catch him on Hoover Street. But that's the whole thing is that everybody, <laughs> like, I, I don't know where he lives now, but it felt like for a long time people knew where he lived, and still people were filming videos, pulling up to his crib, but nothing ever happened. Yeah, I don't even think nobody really pulled up to his crib. I think that was just all. You like don't believe a, you that know, G-Face like story? Uh, G-Face, you lie. You never pull up on milk. G-Face is a bigger weirdo than milk is. That's a weirdo. Nah. <laughs> I don't believe that. He was popping some shit at me too, nigga. Sending me all these paragraphs in my DM and shit over the situation with Smack. You know, it's, oh, yeah, over, yeah, you know yeah, the situation yeah. with your daughter and shit. You yeah. feel me? So uh, I'm like, man, you ain't finna do nothing to the homie. But he's sending me shit. He's sending me clips of him beating up some old Armenian dudes and shit. I'm like, man, what the fuck you send me that shit for? Like, I'm supposed to be scared of that shit. Like, yeah, you feel but, me? But uh, that was some weird shit that, that Smack had a whole song he was singing. Yo, daughter. I'm on your daughter. Right? Oh, yeah, because he, he he took it off you. Yeah. And then he put it on him. He like, you know what? I ain't even tripping, dude, no more. I'm on you now since you want to be in my business. But it's, it's just such a weird thing to do, dude. You're in an argument with another grown man and you start dissing a little kid. G-Face's daughter, I met her. She's like five or something. Yeah. How are you going to put a five-year-old kid I mean, in you know, that's their thing. You know, that's what they do. I, I That ain't my get down. You know what I'm saying? Right. I'm, I'm straight at you. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I don't give a fuck about nobody in your family. If it's on with you, it's on with you. Right. Because you know T-Rose the same thing. He told me he was going to kick my three-year-old daughter in the ass. I'm like, what the fuck is wrong with you? Yeah. I would never say that about you. I met his kids. I've been around his kids. His kids are great. They're, they're amazing. I would never even think in a million years to be like, man, I'm going to throw a cinder block at your kid. Yeah. What the I mean <laughs> Where's that come from? I don't know, man. Everybody different, man. But that ain't my stilo. You feel me? That's some extra <laughs> shit right there. I don't understand. But, I uh, think the nigga G face, he was just trying to build some clout. Like I don't know if he was trying to build a relationship with you by attacking Smack over the situation. He like, oh, there's yeah, something yeah. good right now. I can get on him. You know what I'm saying? And press the line on Smack. You know what I'm saying? To get in good with Adam or whatever. Cause I had told him, I told him some shit in the message. Like, you feel me? But uh, that was kind of weird to me that he was he was defending the situation and had nothing to do with him. Right. You feel me? G face has always made that clear to me. G face is an absolute weirdo, bro. That because my wife is Armenian, that he was going to basically go to war with anybody that had anything to say about me or my kid or whatever, which I was always kind of surprised. Like, you don't got to do all that for me. I'm my own man. But also, sure. Yeah. If you want to go to war with me on the Insta in yeah. Instagram and shit, I let's do I it. I politicked on him heavy, though. You feel me? I ain't going to lie. I'm going to just speak on everything. I politicked on him heavy on some real gang shit and some real prison shit. You know uh -huh. what I'm saying? Because I'm like, damn, you taking up for a nigga and doing all this. I no disrespect to you, but I'm like, damn, you taking up for woods and skinheads now? You know what I'm saying? If we going politics, you know what I'm saying? You you supposed to be a South Sider. Right. You know what I'm saying? If we gonna be talking this jail shit, like, where's how you taking up for him? Mm. You know what I'm saying? If we but talking politics. G Face is very open minded. Like I was telling him, I'm like, every time he comes to do an interview, he bring he brings a blood and a crit, and he's an yeah. Armenian from a Mexican gang. Yeah, he don't I, I mean, I just, I just went I just went prison on him though, because he was, you know, he was talking a lot of prison. That's his language, just, you know. You you just talking a lot of shit. So, you know, I've been there too. You know what I'm saying? I know the politics mm. and I know how to mash and stand on business when it come to that. You feel me? So you know, I just popped my shit with him and shit. I, I said a whole bunch of shit. I wish I could pull it up. But I think the thing that, that pissed them off was that 
G fit or uh, Smack was saying Fuck your daughter, and also Big Deal going to take this fade for me. Oh yeah, I mean, cause you know Smack down. You right. know what I'm saying? So if a nigga really got an issue with him and I got to take the fade, that is what it is. Right. You know so, what I'm saying? So you, if I'm the nigga that's around to take the fade. That's a real homie, though, because Smack is on my leg. How you gonna, what you gonna do with Smack on my leg? You feel know I me? Mean? At the time, and You know, the other niggas he been throwing out there, TF and mm. the homie Punch, One Punch, and if they ain't around and I'm there, somebody gotta handle it. Right. You know what I'm saying? That's the homie at the end of the day, so, you know, it's just all business. That's how I look at it. You know what I'm saying? Wait, so when you say One Punch, you're talking about Gabe from back in the day, or? His little homie. Oh, so he has a little homie named that, too? Yeah, he got a little homie. Oh, I didn't even know that. Yeah, it's Big Punch, you know what I'm saying? Rest in peace, Little Punch, rest in peace, and Baby Punch. Oh, shit. So okay. they got Baby Punch, you know, he's still around, you so know what I'm saying? He got the knockout just like Big Punch and Lil Punch. So there's no love lost with Smack? That's your boy from day one? Nah, ain't no love lost for him. He, uh... Smack, he he be playing his part with T-Rail, man, you know what I'm saying? Just to hold his chili, that's how I look at it, you feel me? But ain't no love lost with him, you feel me? I'm a different type of nigga, you feel me? So I stand on business different and handle myself different from a lot of people. So when they do what they do, I don't kind of like, you know, look at them no different, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, this still my nigga, because when you done over there with T-Rail, you back on the block with me, mm. you know what I'm saying? We back hanging. I'm the nigga picking you up. We going to the motorcycle club, having drinks. We doing all the shit that we do on a daily basis together. So, so you like, in the whole motorcycle world too? Yeah, I'm not from a club though, but I ride bikes and shit. I just had an accident. I just broke my whole, uh, my tibula and fibula. I so big deal, Smack and t -Rail have all fallen off motorcycles. If you ain't learned nothing from watching these three dudes, don't ride a motorcycle, bro. I ride in my shit. Oh, shit. Oh, uh, yeah. A lot of people think Smack's kind of blowing it by spending so much time doing the motorcycle shit instead of focusing on the streaming and the podcast and stuff. Do you agree with that? Um, not really, because he only be missing a couple of days and shit. Like it ain't uh, like they they streaming every day, you know, all week, and he missing the whole week. You feel me? Sometimes he, he might miss one. You feel me? Like he be having shit going on. So, I mean, I don't really think it's that bad. That's why they need a nigga like me. If he miss, you know what I'm saying? I step in. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> you feel me? Definitely. When when, when T. Rose said, "I never called you for help until I got handicapped." That nigga lying like a motherfucker. That was a legendary <laughs> quote. That's a yeah. lie. That's a lie. So he was always kind of that nigga on you? been calling me, man. Mm. That nigga lying like a motherfucker, man. That nigga been calling me. <laughs> I ain't gonna be lying on no nigga calling me for what? Right. What I need to lie about that for? Nigga, just speak on it. Nigga, let the people know you've been calling your little brother, nigga, when they get funky. Right. Straight up. You feel me? Or I'm broke or not, nigga, I'm on call. Yeah. Nigga, I've been pressing the line on shit since I was a kid. With grown men, I've been handling my business. And if somebody's going to be there for you like that, it's kind of disrespectful to then act like it wasn't like that, right? Yeah, that shit, that, that's fucked up. Damn. Like, damn, so I've been doing all this shit for nothing this that's whole great. time. He said that he did more for Hoover than you, too. Yeah, he was just popping. You see how he trying to like got it together on that part. He started like repeating it and like kind of changing it a yeah. little bit. <laughs> That's <laughs> my bro. That, though, I was like, bro, this is make believe. Hey, shout out to you though, T Rail. I was like, this is mm -hmm. make believe. He can't really be saying that to you, right? Yeah. It and like kind of changing it a yeah. little bit. Be there for you like that. It's kind of disrespectful to, to then act like it wasn't like that, right? Yeah, that shit. That, that's fucked up. Damn. Like, damn, so I've been doing all this shit for nothing this That's whole great. time. He said that he did more for Hoover than you, too. Yeah, he was just popping. You see how he trying to, like, got it together on that part. He started, like, repeating it and, like, kind of changing it a yeah. little bit. <laughs> That's <laughs> my bro. That, though, I was like, bro, this is make-believe. Hey, shout out to you, though, T-Rail. I was like... Sitting around watching somebody laugh and joke at your brother is crazy. This is mm. make-believe. He can't really be saying that to you, right? Yeah, he can't. It's no way. Adam 22 will massage your ego to help you feel comfortable to diss who he wants you to diss. He can't be saying that to you, huh? Not because you, not a big deal, because you're the, you're the absolute guy. You're the one. You, you, there's nobody bigger than you. Big deal. He is playing in your face, bro. He is playing in your face, bro. He's playing in your face. <laughs> I'm moving out the game. That line blew my mind, man. <laughs> right there. That that just. Yeah, what else you got for me, man? Oh, what's what's up with the with the boy, man? Which one? Uh, the, the the interview you just dropped, man, with the nigga Moolah. So okay, from your perspective, he pulls. No, actually, it started because of you. So like, you talked about him on the stream, basically, right? Yeah. And what were you saying about him that pissed him off in the first um, place? You know, he did a whole lot of capping on here because I never um said. 
that I came in the house to check him or none of that. Because I was outside busting that. You know, I got a detail business. You right. feel me? That's like a little hobby of mine. You feel me? To clean cars and shit. You feel me? I keep my shit clean, my folks mm -hmm. and all that. It ain't like I'm doing the whole city or nothing like that. You feel me? So, uh, right. yeah, I was out there doing my thing. He came through and shit. You feel me? With his girl. And uh, they was up in there doing their thing. And then somebody that worked with T-Rail, like his uh, manager, assistant, or whatever, he, you know, position he played, he like, man, the boy up in there asleep, I don't know how your brother gonna take it, what you finna do? You finna leave, or you gonna dip? Uh -huh. So I'm like, oh, niggas low-key spooky J, but they don't know how to address the situation, so I'm like, I'm gonna stay down for a little bit. I'm like, I'm gonna post down, I ain't gonna even leave, I'm gonna stay till, this, till it's over with. So uh, I end up going on Ace Boys uh -huh. over there with Pun, and uh, Pun, you know, he asked me about the situation, like how I feel about the boy sleep. After he addressed it. Right. So, you know, I, I, I spoke on it. I said what I said. I'm like, man, that nigga should have left his mother. I mean, stayed his ass in the car if he was sleepy. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Nigga chasing after the bitch. She was in there doing the interview. with some real shit going on. You feel me? Like, why are you sitting in there asleep? You know what I'm saying? And he's trying to say. He yeah, stunner girl boyfriend is weird for that. Like, how you in an interview with your girl? First of all, why are you in an interview with your girl? Why? Why are you even sitting there? She's stunner girl. You're stunner girl's boyfriend. You're known as beardlessly blood. Boone Bone as Bunnaburl's boyfriend. What are you talking about, Super Blood? Why are you even there? Why are you even there? Why? Be bonest with your belt, Blood. Be bonest with your belt. Why are you right there, stupid? You look dumb. You put yourself in a situation, look dumb. Now you went on no jumper looking dumb. You're going to forever cl get clowned on because you look stupid. You feel me? And then you fall asleep because you're faded off lean on camera while she's doing an interview on a podcast with one of the biggest platforms in Los Angeles. Oh, Stunner Girl's boyfriend. He's not going to last. She's not going to be with him forever. Off all these drugs and all that. Man, there's some shit going on. Motherfuckers handling business. You don't mm. need to be sitting on the couch sleep. Nigga, go sit in the car and that's it. That's all. You feel me? I served him like that. You know what I'm saying? He must have really took it to the heart. You feel me? Mm. And uh, I guess the next day or something... No, first she went on a rant on Instagram and shit. She was right. clowning me, pulling up pictures of me. And, oh, you know what I'm shit, saying? Yeah. Talking about my clothes. I, oh, I'm fat and all this. I'm wearing tight clothes. I'm doing me. She was talking yeah. about some panda dunks or something. I don't yeah, even I know didn't what even she... have no panda dunks on on no picture. <laughs> I never even owned a pair of them. You I, was, me, but... I, I was about to Google it. I think I forgot. I was like going <laughs> to figure out what shoes she was talking about. Shout out to everybody who was all 65, 85,000, quadrillion, billion, trillion of you niggas who own panda dunks. Shout out to y'all. Talking about, yeah. Oh, the dunks, they the, the regular regular black and white one the oh, regular okay. dunks, so you're you just know? saying your shoes were too basic yeah because people be serving the panda dunks like they weak but okay. i mean if, if you got a pair you got a pair my shoe you know game saying? is so trash I'll I'll some, know. you know what yeah. i'm saying so but uh yeah she was going on the ranch serving me or whatever and i guess he went over there and he took the picture in front of the house i got the video of the nigga the nigga wasn't looking for nobody oh so they had the he, security camera showing them as well yeah nigga uh, pulled up jumped out did a photo shoot in front of the gate and dip. Because in the nigga interview, didn't look he said, over the gate once. He said he was there for 15 minutes. In the nah. <laughs> that nigga got him. He pulled up, took a picture, and left. Right. But my whole thing is like... Which actually sounds more realistic because I doubt that he was standing around really looking for an issue. Why would you get deep in your feelings like that? Like you ready to go to war over a nigga speaking on a topic. All mm. I was doing was serving you. Right. You know what I'm saying? Are oh, you that gangster? You really want to smoke with me? Because I was serving you? Like, come on, you ain't even like that because you start banging Pyro overnight. Did he? You know what I'm saying? So there's yeah. a lot of talk about that. Is, is Oakland Pyro? Yeah, he started claiming Pyro overnight after the situation happened with him taking the picture. But I will say that he he's posted all kinds of shit of him in Fruit Town Pyro territory yeah, last night I mean, night I got real Pyro's on the line. They don't know him. Really? Damn. So, you know what I'm saying? But anyways... I gotta do my yeah, homework. he took that picture in front of the house, you feel me? And me and my brother, we was going crazy about that shit because I'm like, nigga, you marked out on that situation. Nigga, you didn't even let me speak on it. I wanted to keep an internet for the soft niggas, you feel me? Like, So after he pulls up, t Row basically tells everybody, we're not allowed to talk about this. I don't want anybody alone. drawing attention to it. You know, because he got kids in the house. But I'm like, nigga, f*** that. Mm. Nigga, I hang on the block and niggas hang in front of their houses and all that shit and got kids in the house, nigga, all day, every day. If a nigga pull up right there and play, nigga, it's song. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So we need to handle it the same way. That nigga need to know niggas is not playing with no shit like that. Niggas is real gangsters. We need to handle that. Like, let's get back on the internet and let me let this nigga know that a nigga a real gangster out here in the street. Nigga, I'm not no motherfucking clown out here. Nigga, like, I'm really known out here. Niggas know me from the east to the west. You feel me? In L.A. Like, I'm not no nigga. I didn't just start banging nigga last night. Nigga, I've been doing this shit for damn near a century. Right. You feel me? But, okay, devil's advocate 
if you really wanted to do something about it, you wouldn't hop on the internet and talk about it. You would just yeah. That's why I said that shit wasn't gangsta at all. He was just busting the internet. That's real. If you really wanted to get cracking in real life, you would get cracking in real life, and not on the internet. It's not. No, but I'm saying for you, like it, it's like you don't have to necessarily talk about it. Like I mean, from somebody's oh, yeah, perspective, yeah. maybe you should have just done something about it. I'm not saying that. You I mean, I, that, I didn't know where he was at. You feel me? I tried right. to see if I can get a location on the nigga. You feel me? So, but. I just wanted to get on the internet to let the nigga know, like, nigga, you not gangster. I don't have a problem with getting on the internet, nigga, like, nigga, if, if it's that, it's that. You know what I'm saying? Because I don't feel that a nigga really want that, the mm -hmm. way he bust his move. I'm like, he bust his move for the world to see that he went and did some do some goofy shit. So now if I get at him, they're going to be like, oh, he must have did something to the nigga because mm -hmm. the nigga took a picture in front of the joint. Right. But I don't even give a because if it's that, it's that. You should have never been playing. Right. You feel me? But anyways. Uh, so you were pissed when T-Roll forbid you from talking about it? Like, yeah, I was real upset. Because mm. I'm like, we speaking on everything. That shit need to be. Bro, it seemed like Big Deal just wanted to get cracking. You know what I'm saying? Big Deal rather ask for forgiveness. Big Deal rather ask for um, forgiveness than permission. You feel me? Spoke on. It needs hey, to be plastic. Sometimes in life, you got to ask for forgiveness instead of permission. It all over the internet so a nigga know we ain't playing no games like that. Right. Straight up. Six, chill. That's how I felt about the shit. And then the nigga start banging Pyro. Uh, I end up telling my brother, I'm like, man, this nigga just posted on Instagram talking about he from Bompton. I'm like, nigga finna tap in and call the niggas bomb from Bompton to the table. Like, man, who is this nigga? You know what I'm saying? Bring this nigga to the table because he just took a picture in front of my brother's house. We need to see what's up. Mm -hmm. Instead of him letting me do it the way I do, you know what I'm saying? Because I'm more connected in the streets. He goes and calls some nigga from Pyro that he know and call my cousin, you know what I'm saying? That's a reputable nigga from Fruit Town Pyro. And they handle the business how they handle without me even being present on the phone. Oh, okay. Which they should have had me on the line because the nigga said he was looking for me. Mm. So how y'all squash a beef for me? Mm. Nigga, ain't, it ain't over to a nigga holler at me. So you didn't like... No, this is what I will say. It sounds like cooler heads for Bill. Sound like the round table was called and they knew big deal. You might not have been the best person to have at the round table because you, my friend, are a hothead. You don't probably want to be right there, or they probably don't want you to be right there. It's not because it's nothing against you personally, but it's against you personally, big dog. We try to squash this to keep peace because you can make more money in a time of peace than you can in a time of war. And they know you bring in the fire, big dog. Cooler heads prevail, bro. They pick words over rookies. Words over rookies. You feel me? The interview that came out yesterday with uh, Young Rich Moolah? Nah, that shit was trash. Man, that nigga was in this motherfucker capping the whole thing. Right. Like I said, I got niggas from Pyro on the line. They don't know the nigga. They only know the nigga that was sitting next to him. Okay. You feel me? Duh. Straight up. Little and I did say the nigga sitting next to him, he looked like he was a nigga. I ain't gonna front. Shout out to bro. Duck. Yeah, duck. Baby duck. Yeah. I forget. Yeah. Damn, I like I like the Moolah dude, but I thought it was funny that he went on back on Fig totally fucked up on drugs and he was like falling asleep and then he came and did the interview and he was like wide awake talking the whole time and shit. People like couldn't even believe it was the same dude. Yeah. I mean, you know, he had to come stand on business. He had to make sure he was straight. <laughs> yeah, exactly. you know, I can't fall asleep on this one. Big deal might serve me again. <laughs> no, oh, but man. the nigga, you know, it's, it's all good. Some niggas just don't be knowing how to handle business, you know, how to go about certain situations. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Instead of him taking a picture in front of my bro house, he could have just tapped in. Mm. Like, man, what's the deal? Why a nigga serving me like that on the ground? I was like, oh, man, it ain't even like that. Nigga just was, you know what I'm saying, serving you because I was asked a question about it. Mm. You know what I'm saying? If a nigga asks me a question, I'm going to speak on it. I'm not going to tuck my tail out. Oh, I can't speak on him, man. I'm going to leave it alone next. Right. No, you getting sir. Going to the crib is crazy, though. I don't, I don't approve of that. But at the same time, him doing that and then nothing happening, it does make him look like, oh, shit. Like, yeah, that that, 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 that don't around. make you a gangster because you pulled up. Because a nigga <coughs> pulled up, did that, and went back to Vegas. Right. <laughs> you feel me? Like, come on, man. Nigga really out here. Like, you want to go pull up right there? Come get in the field. Mm. You yelling 50s, nigga. I'm in the 50s. Right. Pull up. You know what I'm saying? Then a nigga yelling he want to fade with me. You need to go get courted on Pyro. You know what I'm saying? You need to handle that situation first before you talking about you need a fade with me. You need to go run some fades with some Pyro niggas. Shit, I might have to bring Moolah up. back up here. I might, yeah. might need to he do need a to part clear two. that situation. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because I could have brought some Pyro niggas up here to speak on it. Oh, really? You know what I'm saying? Oh, he need to do something. He need to get some real Pyro niggas with him and show up uh, so they can put the snap. He just got one nigga putting the snap on it, and that shit don't even look real. I wonder what Wack's going to say. Wack considers himself the ultimate Pyro test. 
Yeah, I mean, no? Wack better figure it out. <laughs> he claiming the P funk. What you gonna do, Wack? I think that's a different, different power. Wack is snitch, bro. And low key, I didn't even think about it. Break Baby made a good point in the last video. Go back and watch my last video. Break Baby went off on some whole other ish. It got crazy. They had to cut the live off. But Wack is snitch. Wack always talking about Break Baby having AK 47 and other. Bro, you a rat too. Bro, maybe. I mean, the P is the P, though. Yeah. When it comes to the P funk. God, it's damn. all under one umbrella. <laughs> I, I brought his name up in front of someone else on the podcast with Wack the other day, and the the dude, you know, bumped in G. You know, you seen him on the podcast? Yeah, I seen this little shit before. Yeah, I brought I brought up Mula's name in front of him, and he didn't seem like he was feeling it. I was like, damn, all right, I don't know what's going on. Probably don't Leave even know. Him. <laughs> I'm out here trying to pretend I'm innocent. <laughs> he probably um, don't even know. <laughs> all right, uh, uh, all right. So, like, do you feel like in the beef with T-Row that you have, like, kind of gone over the line at all? Because um, you posted his location the other day. His location. When they were streaming or whatever, you put up, like, a story and you put a tag, right? Oh, no, I just I've just put the area. Yeah. But that was to them. You know what I'm saying? I, oh, letting I them know that you can pull up? I didn't actually put exact location. Oh, okay. But I'm like, nigga, what's up? Like, you know what I'm saying? I know where niggas at on that boys trip. Bro, why are you, like, tagging? This is your brother. You guys have the same mother, bro. Like, this is not some, like, person in the street. Like, you am going to tag your location so I can pull up so you know I'm around. This is your brother. This is not some random nigga on the street, bro. Gotta use your fucking words over your whoopties, bro. I know words are hard, but you gotta use your words over your fucking whoopties. This is your brother. That's, un that's, that's, it's unnecessary. What the fuck is going on, man? It's unnecessary. Okay. On that little field trip or whatever y'all on. <laughs> no, nah, because niggas be on the internet popping it and all that. Like, I really pull up on a nigga. Okay. You feel me? You got these niggas in there. This is your fucking brother. I'll pull up on a nigga. This is your brother. It's not pulling up on a nigga if it's your brother, bro. That's that, that's not... I don't think that's all. I could be wrong. All you super gay members in the comments, I know you guys are like the toughest niggas ever. The niggas in the comment section, you guys are like super cool. You guys are super tough. Everybody got a thousand bodies. The nigga with a thousand and one bodies, you let me know, like, is it still pulling up if it's on your brother? Because I'm going to trust a nigga with a thousand and one bodies over a nigga with a thousand bodies. The nigga with a thousand bodies, you ain't shit. The nigga with a thousand and one bodies, he's the guy. He's fucking tough. That's, he's so tough, he's cussing me out in my YouTube comments instead of actually being in the field, catching a thousand. His... 1,000 in second body. It's cool to be on YouTube. Anyway, let's keep going. Let's keep going. Catching bodies in real life is hard. Words over. Whoopies. Don't, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. They're shooting shots at me like, they don't know what's going on between me and you. There's some real brother shit, some real family shit that's going on. You niggas is just playing. Pun the AD is just playing, getting in the mix. They don't know what the f we got going on. Mm. You know what I'm saying? They looking at you like you a real nigga, like you doing some real shit. Nigga, that's some whole ass shit you doing, nigga, towards your brother. Straight up. And if them niggas got your back and them niggas think I'm a gang, nigga, I'll pull up. You feel me? Straight up. So, I, you know what I'm saying? I be, I be testing niggas, you know what I'm saying? Trying to see if they really bought that. You know what I'm saying? I know where niggas at. You know what I'm saying? I even texted to his, uh, his little assistant. I mm. text my the assistant and my brother. I sent them the actual address and the picture to the house. Mm -hmm. Like y'all still right there? I will pull up so we can holler. How'd you get the exact address? Man, I've been everywhere around this motherfucker. <laughs> nigga can't post nothing <laughs> with a background. I don't know where it's at. Right. You know what I'm saying? All I gotta do is see the, something around. You know what I'm saying? I know exactly where a nigga at. Because I think some people, myself included, took it as you almost like inviting people to pull up on them. Yeah, but they would have had to find it still though, because they didn't have an okay. exact address. Still, it's kind of. They'd have been like, damn, where we at? We got Doc Water where? <laughs> you feel me? <laughs> They'd have been looking at the water. <laughs> did, they, did he say anything to you about doing this interview? Because I feel like he's probably kind of worried uh, about what you might end up saying, right? No, nah, he didn't say nothing to me about it. But, uh, I mean, he spoke on the stream about it. Like, if niggas going to go over there, take y'all whole asses over there and stay over there. Right. You know what I'm saying? Just don't get used or get the chili and all that. Like, man. That nigga was on that motherfucking intoxicated looking like a motherfucking fool. <laughs> nigga AD and them niggas foul. They let that nigga crash out and look like a motherfucking fool on there. Right. He made a fool of himself on that motherfucker. You the only nigga on there drunk with two goofballs sitting right here not saying nothing to you. Like, hey, bro, that ain't cool. That they shit. let you just go on a rant about your brother. You on that motherfucker sloppy drunk. That shit was anything. hilarious because I remember he did the same thing to Suspect where... Uh T-Row was flipping out on Suspect, and they did them are like sitting there just hyping yeah, him up. Him and I'm like, 
this is kind of a weird vibe. Like, if this is really your boy, you should probably be, like, telling him to chill or yeah. not trying to throw gas on this situation, especially because we know that this is not a situation that you're really going to be handling yourself, right? Yeah. That's just like what y'all what y'all situation. I'm like, man, y'all niggas ain't beefing. Yeah. Niggas think that's really beef. Them niggas ain't ops. Yeah. Ops is on a whole nother level. Exactly. That's a whole nother ball game. Yeah. If they see each other right now, it's going to be cool. Right. You know what I'm saying? Niggas running to each other at the Topanga. Oh, you finna blast it out with Adam at the Topanga? Stop playing. <laughs> niggas need to stop running <laughs> around town what playing What am I gonna do? Shit. I'm gonna fight him. You know what I'm saying? I can't fight him. <laughs> like, that's just... Yeah, he was already texting. You said he love you and all the shit. Oh, you finna blast it out with Adam at the Topanga? Stop playing. <laughs> Level. Exactly. That's a whole nother ball game. Yeah. If they see each other right now, it's gonna be cool. Right. You know what I'm saying? Niggas running to each other at the Topanga. Oh, you finna blast it out with Adam at the Topanga? Stop playing. <laughs> All I'm going to say is, be careful with who you say what to. That's all I'm going to say. Big Deal just says something. <laughs> Niggas, he can stop running hey, around what, town what playing What am I going to do? I'm going to fight him. You know what I'm saying? I can't fight him. <laughs> like, that's just... Yeah, he was already texting you, said he loved you and all the shit. Yeah. <laughs> He just got mad because I, I ended up basically, like, just acknowledging. Shout out to Big Deal, bro. Shout out to Big Deal. What was going on and just it's, acknowledging. It's a whole instance. Don't, don't, y'all don't, don't, don't worry about it. Minding my business is hard. Mind your business. That the shit is corny. And that, yeah. you know, like, that they, I, I mean, even, like, when we really got into it, all I did was expose shit about him that I'm, 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 I can't say it's 100% true, but in terms of, like, his debt situation and stuff, like, that's why he's so mad at me is because I put the debt shit out there and nobody really knew about that at the time. Yeah. I mean, I, I'm pretty sure everybody know about a little something. Yeah. They just ain't putting it out there. Yeah. You know, people wait for the right time to start putting shit out there. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? There's, so. no, there's no better time to kick somebody than when they're down. Bro, how are you on this show talking about your brother's chili, bro? Like, this is wild. Yeah. I heard somebody say that the other day. And I was like, damn, that's a pretty good quote. Yeah. Yeah, but, man, you know. What, what else was I there? Uh, <laughs> Ask me something, man. What you want to know, Do you man? think that in his eyes, this that you even sitting down with me is, like, unforgivable? Like, you'll never be able to be cool um, with you after this. I mean, if he a real one, he wouldn't look at it like that. Right. All right, man. We're going to cut it right there. We're going to cut it right there. We're going to give you all... Couple more on this, man. The big deal saga continues. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe for more of this good content. We got going on here at TNA Trap News Network. News reviews, knowledge, you can't get in college, man. Like, comment, subscribe for more of this good content. Hit that subscribe button. Become part of your Trapper Mafia. Notification bell at the top. Hit all stay tapped in for the latest and the greatest of what we have going on over here. It's never over there because it's all over here. Yeah, dig. That's right. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. We up out here to the next one, though, man. Make sure you follow me on Instagram, Trap News Network. T R A P N E W S N E T W O R X. That's Trap News Network. Find me on Instagram, Trap News Network. Uh, yeah, I said that already. Game six, start from scratch. You know, y'all know that. Go, go get it. If you don't know, watch my last video. Don't worry about it. Hit that red dot, slide it to the left. Figure out how you win some of this good chili we give away here at TNN Trap News Network. Free Avenue, Angel, till he's free, and we go.